Are you aware that DevTools offer four ways to capture screenshots? In this video, I will guide you through all of them. Let's begin with the first one. Let's say you want to take a screenshot of this exact card which you want to send to your designer. Skip the snipping tool. That is too much work. You can use DevTools by right-clicking the node and select Capture Node Screenshot, Instant and Perfect Capture. Let's not stop there. You want to capture the entire design section and it does not fit in the page. Well, we can find the node in DevTools and do exactly the same. This time though, I want to have a bit more room on the top and the bottom. So I add the padding block CSS before I capture it. Perfect framing. How about a screenshot in a mobile view? You can use DevTools device mode, which comes with some extra goodies. First, switch to the device mode and select your preferred dimension. Then, click on the three dot menu. As you can see, there are two screenshots options. You can either capture just what you see on the screen or use the full page screenshot powers, grabbing everything from the top to the bottom. And here is a cool tip. Some devices like Nest Hub come with a frame. You can select it and enable the show the device frame option. Voila! Your screenshot now includes a device frame, making it look even more authentic. Actually, I think it would be nice to add a screenshot button here for quicker access. What do you think? Share your comments below. So far, we have covered three ways to capture screenshots. The node screenshot, the viewport screenshot, and the full-size screenshot. The last one is all about flexibility, capturing area screenshots just like your regular snipping tool. Click on the three dot menu, select run command, or just use the command shift P for quicker access. From there, typing screenshot will show you four commands. We have covered these three options so far. So let's try to capture an area screenshot. Select the command and then drag to select anywhere on the page to capture it. It is as simple as that. All right, that's all for today. Happy debugging and stay tuned for more Dev2 tips. Ciao!